Okay, today we're going to be doing a short video on the locator tracking system. Uh, this is a product that we use in RC flying. Uh, we install it in our planes and quads uh, uh, so that we can locate them if they go down uh, unexpectedly uh, in areas that are where it would be hard to find them. So, uh, especially bush and tall grass. So we have this little uh, locator here. This is the model that was out uh, a few years ago. And uh, it's a good little product. It has a range of about uh, 500 uh, meters, no more than that. I've tested it uh, a few times, so 500 meters um, uh, range, which isn't bad if you kind of know the direction you're going in. And this is the uh, little locator fob that works with it. Uh, however, a couple of years ago, uh, they came out with a new and improved case that's not so new and improved. This is the case here. It's a round case. Uh, and it takes a large battery. Uh, this one here took uh, two batteries, uh, but lasted the whole season. Uh, but they were expensive, and they came out with uh, a, a, a unit that uh, would take a larger CR2032, I think. A large battery, uh, inexpensive, but there's one problem with it. It doesn't work right. The problem is, is that the case is, this is a very hard, rigid plastic. Uh, so everything is solid. This here has a really flimsy case uh, and the batteries don't stay connected. So I'm going to open up and what we have here is we have a large battery and these terminals uh, would sometimes come loose uh, from the batteries. Uh, and you'd lose connection and it, would, it wouldn't work, which is kind of useless if you have a locator. So in order to solve that problem, I've uh, I, uh, what I did was is I just uh, uh, soldered on uh, the negative and positive leads to a low C connector here, uh, which is available um, in, in, in most hobby shops or available online. I'll provide a link to where you can buy it. And then I simply took a 1S battery. This one here is a 50 milliamp. Uh, it's small. Uh, no, this is actually 200 milliamps, so it's actually bigger than what I need. And uh, I use this, and I plug it in directly into the unit. Uh, this actually makes it functional. And then I put shrink wrap on it, uh, and the shrink wrap holds everything together. Uh, it's not waterproof, but the original design wasn't pro waterproof either. But at least I have uh, a, working, a working unit. So this is how I solve the problem with the new and improved but not workable uh, fob from Locator. And I simply added an external battery and it works great. Uh, these are still the best, but uh, they're no longer available. So I have no idea why they would have gone with a tried and true product that works well and moved to something that doesn't work well and probably wasn't tested that, that well as either. So if you're looking for lost models, or if you're looking for a lost pet, or a lost loved one in that case, um, this is a mod you can use for the locator uh, to, keep, uh, uh, to keep using this product. So thank you very much for watching this video, and if uh, you liked, please subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you uh, thought this was a good video. Thank you very much, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye for now.